when you're a woman, it's hard to tell that you're being censored when you're not in a museum to begin with. It was a sculpture annual, and people said, that, oh, there are no women who make sculpture, the usual silly business. Well, we just got mad, and we said, we're mad. We're not taking it anymore. <laughs> I'm here with Lynn Hirschman Leeson, who's made a documentary film. You're an artist and documentary filmmaker, yeah? <laughs> right? Okay, good. Uh, who's made a film about a, a really uh, interesting slice of counterculture, you don't hear a lot about feminist art. And not only that, uh, it's 40 years in the making. 1968, one year after the summer of love, America was still in Vietnam. While at home, the Black Panthers, civil rights, and free speech movements were only part of the subterranean agitations. Another revolution was in progress. What this film does is, is address really that vacuousness and the empty history and the, the silences right. that, of, of oppression that kept the story from being told. Right. Three-dimensional ceramic art of 39 women's uh, vaginal area, their genitalia, served up on plates that requires a whole room in order to display weird sexual art. I'm a poet, and I do have trouble with this because it's not art. It is not art. It's pornography. At one point, I guess it was in the 70s, they wanted to do a show of lesbian art, but it was hard to find artists who yeah. identified as lesbians. Yeah. Talk yeah. about that a little bit. It was so difficult to be an artist in that day, in those days, mm -hmm. that people would not identify as artists. Mm -hmm. You know, they were identifying as lesbians, but they didn't want to come out Why? as artists. Tell, tell me, I, uh, I don't know anything about that. You know, that. it was kind of like, uh, uh, it, it was just a low level of, of being to, you know, to come out in public. A lot of people took fake names or they used their initials so that they, they wouldn't be identified as who they were so, as artists or, or so that there would, they would be gender neutral. Was it part of not wanting to, to be heard as a lesbian? Um, no, I, I think that it was a process of coming out in general. Mm -hmm. Um, for instance, Arlene Raven, right. you know, worked at Cal Arts mm -hmm. and worked in the arts and worked as a critic, and then she came out as a lesbian, okay. and then she started. To, and the same with Harmony Hammond, right. she was married and had children, and then then came out as a lesbian, and now is lesbian identified and wrote a book about it. Right. In fact, so you know, I think it was a process. So art makes you lesbian. We had this idea to do a kind of political art that didn't just point to something and complain and say, this is wrong. We had an idea to try to twist issues around and use facts and humor and change people's minds about the issues. Has anything changed for women making art today? I think so. I think that it's, um, it's easier, you know, that it's, it's not, uh, that you can't have women in galleries and women are starting to sell their work for more money, not as much as they deserve, um, which is why I say you should buy women's art now because it's right. only going to go up. <laughs> um, and, and, and so I see, I, I see the inroads are, the, are there. Uh, the Museum of Modern Art had no, no female curators five years ago and they have over 30 now. Wow. And I think when you see women in their 30s, 20s, in positions where they can make a change, they're doing it. Right. All right, thank you so much yeah, for speaking with me. Yeah, and do more. And definitely, for sure. Now, yeah. don't jump out of your chair, but thank you. Okay.